All right, so today's question is 1060 uh, missing element uh, in sorted array. Uh, we are given a sorted array of unique numbers. So these uniqueness of numbers is uh, telling us there is no tie. Uh, we wouldn't have some kind of input like a 4, 4, 7, 7, 9, 9, 10. Uh, that, that's not the case. That's the, uh, we don't need to worry about those kind of cases with this, with this problem. And the question is asking us uh, to return the case missing number starting from the left most of the array. So uh, the example here, uh, if, if the input is 4, 7, 9, 10, and we're looking for the first missing number, that's uh, 5, uh, which should come directly after 4. If we're looking at the third missing number, uh, we have 5 and 6 missing in between 4 and 7. And the next missing number is the 8, that's uh, missing between 7 and 9. Uh, the third example we have one two four. We're looking for the third missing number. Um, we have a three missing between four, two and four, and after that there is no more numbers in the array. So we, uh, we're just uh, incrementing this last number by two uh, to figure out that that's uh, six. So just based on the uh, description, just reasoning through how why these three examples will will have their outputs, we can see. Uh, we can have a linear scan, linear pass, just one pass through the array and, and keep track of how many numbers we are missing in between numbers and to compare that missing number, uh, number of missing values with k uh, and there will be some kind of uh, logic conditions you can figure out uh, based on that you can figure out uh, the when to stop this um, iteration and to return the k's missing number um, but um, we're definitely looking at something that's better than uh, doing one pass. So, um, I guess I guess uh, if you look at the, the uh, think about uh, what's being given to us, it's a sorted array, and we are looking for searching for some values um, based on based off that array. That's uh, pretty much a very clear hint. Uh, it's a uh, um, it should, we should be utilizing some kind of a binary search method to reduce the search time from linear to uh, log of n. So uh, we have to think of uh, um, how can we have a direction of search. So um, one of the way to think about it is uh, um, uh, to, it's important to realize that uh, we can actually calculating how many numbers we have missing between any two numbers, right? So uh, let's say, let's walk through some examples. Say that uh, um, we have a 4, 7, 9, 10. If we're looking at uh, this particular location here, how many mi numbers we have uh, uh, missing from the left to this current location? Uh, that will be um, 7 minus 4, and uh, um, that's a 3, and, and minus 1, right? So, so this is the, uh, because this is the first location here. For, for the example, if we're looking at the example 9, with, with 9, the second element 9 here, um, we can see that uh, the number of missing values we have there is um, how much? This is two, right? Um, this is uh, five minus minus two, which is three. So there, there is this relationship that um, um, number of missing between zero and i uh, i's number is. Nums i minus nums zero minus uh, the location i, so index i. So that's uh, something that uh, we can derive based on looking at uh, based on the property of its uh, sorted array and its non-unique. Um, based off this, we can actually give us a direction of the searching. Right? We can compare this uh, number, number of missing numbers. Compare that with k and uh, telling us to uh, how, how we can search for a particular location faster. Um, this is not going to give us directly the location, um, the case missing number, but it will be able to tell us um, which location 
uh, we start to have number of missing values more than k. So, so um, if you call this method, uh, if we define a function that's um, missing number and uh, taking uh, just the one input argument to the index of a particular number and just map this uh, function to all the elements within the nums, uh, it will give us uh, something like a zero 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 one 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 kind of. Uh, if we can compare the output of the function with k, it will give us uh, something like a zero zero one one one. Um, because in initially, for the f uh, very uh, left uh, couple of elements, uh, in numbers, in locations in the array, uh, we not gonna have any. Uh, we the missing numbers are gonna be smaller than k. And uh, upon until some time, uh, this will change, and uh, the uh, number of missing values will gradually, you know, you will, once we have that uh, turning point, the missing value is uh, greater than k, then everything else after uh, every location afterwards is going to be the same. Um, so that gives us a, a sorted array. Uh, again, it's a zero 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 one one uh, search space. We can use that to find the first uh, location where we have more than k missing numbers. Then the previous location to that is going to have a number a missing number that's less than k. And based off that location, that number, and the, the number of missing value, uh, the the difference between the missing values uh, at that location and k, we can figure out how we can. Um, uh, we can uh, directly calculate uh, the the actually the actual case missing number. So it might sound a little bit complicated uh, when I was explaining, but when you see the code, it's uh, pretty simple and straightforward. So uh, to code up uh, the question by a binary search, let me just uh, lay out uh, the, the the you know the bell bone of uh, a binary search, typical binary search code. Uh, while the two pointers are n not in, not equal yet, meaning that we still haven't pinged on the location, uh, we'll get the middle elements to be uh, just to be the middle one, and uh, uh, we'll have a, a function here. Um, take the index and uh, compare that with k. Uh, if it's uh, smaller than k, meaning that uh, uh, we haven't find the first uh, location where we have more than k's missing number, uh, we would uh, increment the lower number. Uh, otherwise, we will uh, decrement the high number. So after this binary search, uh, the L here the L here is going to be the first location uh, where we have the uh, more than k's missing number. Uh, notice that I, I use lens of nums here rather than uh, the very last location because we can go out of bond. So that's that's why we have this. Uh, that's actually um, one plus the very last location in the array. And uh, when we find that um, location. What we can do is uh, take the previous element, previous number, and just uh, add the difference between the number of missing values and the k. Um, missing, calling, calling that. So that's the uh, that's the um, number we can calculate. Uh, um, you know, we we have to have. Um, some more missing values. Um, that's calculated as the difference between key and uh, this, the result of this function call. And since this is uh, the um, first number after this, uh, after um, after we have missing missed so many uh, numbers, we just add that difference directly to this number. We can get the case missing number. Uh, so that's the binary search code, and this is the formula to figure out uh, that uh, uh, what's the case missing number. Uh, the left is just to code uh, this function not missing here. 
uh, we just take one of the index and the relationship is this uh, let me i here we'll just return that so uh, where's this uh, the code looks uh, right to me so yeah we add we change the low to lower location to mid plus one because this fails this is uh, strictly less than so yeah it looks good to me so let's submit it and uh, it's working uh, so the time complexity for this binary search uh, solution is uh, log n and uh, with n being the number of elements um, no with, with yeah with uh, m be the number of elements uh, in the input array and uh, the space complexity is um, uh, it's constant uh, we we don't have any um, we don't have any um, data structures that are consuming uh, more than constant space in this uh, solution so yeah that's the question for today